value voter speech, not in 2013, but in 2012, you mentioned the little things and taking appreciation and loving the people around you. Um, how does your faith um, in your life, your family life, your marriage life, and then as a senator, how does it sort of all work together for you? Um, well, I think if you don't have that foundation at home, you don't have it anywhere else, you know. And uh, you know, I've been married for, I have to remember, 24 years, and I don't want to get that wrong or I will be in trouble at home. But, uh, yeah, without that, I think that is sort of a rock and a stabilizing force. And I think it's one of the things that we, we don't appreciate enough, not only fidelity, but also the, uh, the family unit as something that is, you know, we talk about, oh, we want to pass this law and that. If we lose the structure of the family unit that's been around for tens of thousands of years, you know, we really, that is something that stabilizes society. And really, it's a one problem, and people don't like to hear this, but if you talk about poverty in America, it's the breakdown of the family. If you, if you look at married family, 9% of married families live in poverty, a third of unmarried families live in poverty. The hard part is, is to say that without sort of casting aspersions at the single mom. I don't want to say that, but I want to say to the, the girl in high school who's not yet a mom, wait and get married. And, uh, and I think people on both sides recognize that, but we need more of it. And uh, my wife actually quotes Michelle Obama on this because she says to her daughter, she says, look at Beyonce. She did it in the right order. Beyonce fell in love, got married and had children. And we need more of our leaders to actually say that. And that is something that whether you're the spouse of a candidate or a candidate, these are important parts of, you know, the bully pulpit doesn't have to be bully nature. It can also be that we persuade people to try to do the right thing. Oh,